Alright guys, so I uploaded a few more videos on my disk station here, put them in the video folder, which is by default shared on the network. Uh, you can also create some more folders for yourself and uh, upload some more files from your computer and then share them on the network where they can be streamed by a DLNA certified device and I'll show you guys that a bit in a second. So I have a K-pop video here and a full HD uh, animation, animated movie here, Simpsons movie, and I can just show you guys that in a bit and I can just show you bit more what's in the package center here um, so yeah the great thing about disk station is that it can do so much like it can uh, even host your websites it can be your own uh, cloud server um, so this cloud station allows you to sync files between um, different uh, computers and mobile devices so basically it acts like a Dropbox your own personal Dropbox and it has some other uh, packages as well audio station download station is basically um, your you can connect to any protocol that includes BitTorrent, FTP, HTTP, uh, NZB, which is basically Usenet, uh, FlashGet, email. So you can basically connect to almost anything and then download files for you, which is amazing. So basically it can be your own download server as well, your own media server, photo station, video station does uh, as you would expect to play those appropriate media files. So that's that's really great. And you can, up, you can download more of these through the Synology kind of app store here. Packet Center. All these are free, by the way, so you don't have to pay for any of them. Ooh, BitTorrent Sync is on here. That's great. Uh, because I worked on that product before. And yeah, a whole bunch of uh, nice things on here as well. So if you're interested in hosting your website, maybe you might be interested in the Tomcat plugin or the WordPress one. And uh, it has a VPN server, uh, Ruby, Python. If you're a web dev, this is really good stuff. You can host your own website on here. You don't have to pay for... Um, hosting by someone else, uh, Java, Joomla, these are all here, Drupal is pretty popular as well. Uh, so yeah, you can basically install your own packages and um, make this your own cloud, oh, here is Node, I think you have Node.js on here as well, yep, okay, cool. So yeah, if you're a, a web developer, then this is pretty good, you can uh, host your own website on here as well. So yeah, uh, for all these reasons, I really like Synology and in a bit, I'll show you guys uh, how it works with uh, DNA certified devices, which is how I use my disk station. All right, guys. So right now, I have my WD TV Live hooked up to my Sony XCL1 OLED TV, and I haven't showed you this device yet. But basically, this is the first consumer OLED TV ever released way back in 2007. So Sony made quite a few nice, uh, innovative products back then, and the uh, XCL1 is one of those. So when it first came out, it cost about $2,500, which is quite a bit, but uh, it is the first consumer OLED, uh, OLED TV available. It came out all those years ago, and it's 11 inches, so it's not that big, but uh, it is a full TV, so you can see just how thin it is. So the, the screen is extremely thin, and um, you have to remember that back in 2007, there weren't many TVs that are this thin. This is probably one of the thinnest TVs when it came out. And uh, let's see what it has here. It has your standard uh, home, input, volume up and down, channel up and down, and power right there. And then at the back, it has dual HDMI inputs, a USB just, just for maintenance, and a uh, power adapter here, a memory card slot, this being a Sony, and a coaxial cable to connect to your TV. So yeah, this is a... This is a full TV, so you can connect it to your cable box. You can connect it with anything, basically, since it takes an HDMI. So you can plug in even a, a video game console, or in my in my case, I plugged in my WD TV Live to it. Basically, anything, camera or uh, a tablet, anything that has HDMI, computer, they can uh, attach to it. So uh, let's go ahead and look at how this works. So I haven't shown you guys this yet by either, but um, this is my WD TV Live, and uh, this is similar to uh, a Roku or an Apple TV or an Amazon Fire TV uh, media kind of media box type of thing or a Chromecast uh, basically you can plug in a USB drive or you can stream stuff from a DLNA uh, server so this is the cool thing about it uh, this thing is pretty cool I like it you can find it online for about 50 or 60 bucks so it's pretty cheap and uh, you can connect um, it to the network like this like I did uh, HDMI Plug in a USB host. If it has pictures, video, or movies, I can play it. Uh, the cool thing about this device is that it can play almost any format. I played um, 
AVIs, MPEGs, uh, MP4s, MOVs, MKVs, and it hasn't hasn't had any problem playing any of those files. So it has a really wide support for uh, video formats, which is awesome. And um, optical in here. So yeah, I have this hooked up to my router, and my Synology disk station is also hooked up to the same uh, router. So it's on the same network, and that's how I'm able to stream stuff from my Synology, because this, this thing can actually detect my uh, my media files from my Synology, my disk station, which is which is really cool. So yeah, and I have it hooked up to my Sony XCL1 TV right here, so you can take a look. So this being an OLED TV, the uh, contrast is really nice. The contrast ratio is 1 million to 1, and uh, the blacks are incredibly deep, as you would expect with an OLED uh, OLED TV. It's not uh, actually HD resolution at all. It's less than 720p actually, but you can't tell at this at this distance anyway because it's 11 inches, so the, the pixels per inch is still pretty good. So uh, when you look at a video here, and I'll show you guys. Okay, so when you go to uh, videos here, it'll ask you to search uh, a media server, which I did, and I connected to my uh, disk station. So I can look at photos or music on my disk station as well but I don't have any right now. I'll just show you guys some video that I uploaded and I think I put it in my video folder and here we go, this is the K-pop video that I uploaded right, this is the volume coming from the TV, it does get pretty decently loud so maybe you guys can't see that well on the camera but the picture quality looks pretty good from where I'm at. It doesn't look like it's uh, not HD at all. It looks totally HD, even though the resolution is not HD. So the video itself is actually HD. And it's playing on 11 inch, so probably you still can't see the pixels. see the wide viewing, viewing angles on this TV. It's not an IPS display, but really you cannot tell the difference because it still has a really wide viewing angle. So this is not an LCD TV, so really good wide viewing angles here. is some girls generation who is really popular in the k-pop circles okay we're gonna stop that and uh, play the movie Simpsons movie this is full HD again blu-ray rip again if this this WTTV live plays so many different movie formats uh, so many video formats so I usually don't have a problem playing any, playing any of these let's fast forward for a bit Okay, let's play now. If he falls, could that make your boy a paraplegerino? Shut up, Flanders. Yeah, shut up, Flanders. Okay, boy. Yeah. So yeah, you can't adjust this TV actually um, up or down a little bit like this. So you know, even like you fire like this, according to the viewing angles you want. And the picture quality looks perfect. I mean, yeah, totally. I cannot see any pixels whatsoever. It, it looks really good, really, really good. You can find this TV on eBay for about four hundred, maybe five hundred, if you're, uh, if you can see one. They're actually pretty rare. Sony didn't sell too many of these. Uh, they were really expensive when they came out, and. Um, not many people could afford it, and it's 11 inches anyway, not many people want an 11 inch TV, but it is kind of portable for its size. I think this weighs around, uh, how much, 5, 6 pounds maybe? 6 pounds I would say, 6, six, six pounds, and um, that's pretty light for a TV. 
considering that you can connect to uh, coaxial, so you can connect to anything your TV connects to, as well as playing uh, anything from any uh, HDMI output source. So it's pretty versatile. You can use it as a TV, you can use it as a monitor. Pretty versatile there. So anyways, yeah, that's the Simpsons movie. It's playing pretty well. And the colors look really, really sharp and everything. Um, picture looks good. And that is a Sony XL1 OLED TV. Kind of doing like a mini review inside this review. <laughs> Alright, so um, yeah, if you have a WDTV Live, this is a really good box. I highly recommend it. Uh, it, it plays so many video formats and stuff and stream stuff. Uh, but if you have something else like an Apple TV or, you know, Amazon Fire TV or Chromecast, it works uh, pretty well as well. Yep. You can play, uh, yeah, photos, photos and music. So you can put like slideshows on here, even games, which I didn't know that I could do. But it has that as well. So if you have any, uh, this station or any other uh, DLNA certified device, you can stream it with uh, WDTV Live. So yeah. That is the Synology disk station. Um, I've set it up. I've showed you guys how to upload some files on this baby. And uh, it acts as a NAS drive, so you can raid your files. So if you lose any one of your hard drives, you have a backup uh, if you raid them. So that's really good. And just keep it as a, a storage. I used to use externals. So I started off with CDs and DVDs like everyone else. I burned them. And uh, the files got gradually bigger, of course, so I switched to external hard drives, but now I carry like three external hard drives with me, uh, three terabytes, so it's a little bit too much, and I put them all on my disk station now, which is my cloud server. So if I want, I can pull these files down at any time, I can even access this thing remotely, so um, I don't have to be like in the same uh, network, I can access it remotely uh, through S SSH or uh, VPN and get my files from another location which is just great basically it is your own cloud your own uh, Dropbox and that, that's just amazing I can host my own website on this thing WTTV live yeah if you have uh, something uh, media box or something like that you can use it uh, with the disk station and uh, this is a Sony XL1 OLED TV which uh, is is a pretty interesting artifact now I think there's there's definitely better ones these days there's better OLED technology these days but for the Novelty of having an 11-inch OLED TV is, is pretty cool. I and mean, just look at how slim that is. It's pretty cool. Anyways, that is it. If you guys have any questions or comments, um, as usual, I'll try to answer them as best as I can. And I'm pretty active on my YouTube channel. I check my email a lot. So please do. And uh, yeah, if you enjoy my videos, please subscribe. Please like them. And as always, thank you for watching. I'll see you guys next time.